time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Oh, I gotta tell you, it's right down there. It's right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter, so follow me on Twitter too. And it's time to get this movie review started. Alright y'all, I've seen this movie for good days. I got a screener of it. It's coming to some select theaters this Friday, tomorrow, April 30th. And it stars Glenn Close and Mia, Mila Kunis, right? The girl from that 70s It's based off a, a true story. It was actually an article that was written in the Washington Post. It's about Post. a mom dealing with her like heroin addicted daughter. So it's pretty, it's pretty intense. Let me tell you a little bit about what this story is. Molly! played by Mila Kunis, shows up at the door of her mother, Deb, played by Glenn Close, and stepfather, Chris, ready to get her life together and get cleaned off, cleaned up off drugs. Deb finally agrees to send Molly to yet another detox clinic where there's a new doctor who recommends a proven successful treatment. However, Molly must stay clean for four more days to begin it. We've seen these kind of movies before. You know, the dr trying to get off the drugs, to, you know, on heroin, see your life falling apart on, on the drugs and, and trying to get off of it, trying to enlist the help of the family. But this one, I don't know if it's because of just the story and knowing it's a true life story, but also the amazing acting. You know Glenn Close, she's always been a phenomenal actor. But I was also surprised by Mila Kunis. She even looked the part. She had the missing teeth, scabs on her face. She looked like a drug addict. And as skinny she is, just in real life, I mean, she was looking she the, looked part. the part. But even she did a great job of, of getting into that character and embodying the character, Molly. She was, you know, had that jadedness about and while this story didn't have, like, the huge dramatic, you know, climaxes in this, that's kind of what made it nice, you know? It was it was a real story. It, was, it felt so authentic and raw and the grittiness of it. You know, the powerful moments was more, mostly in, like, the quieter this moments. This relationship between the mom and the daughter and, and what drugs have done to the relationship and what drugs have done to the character, you know, her, Molly, who, you know, was this promising person and then seeing her life where she is now... I mean, it's a, it's a heart wrenching story, but also one of kind of conditional love. Imagine being, you know, a mother of someone addicted on drugs, and what I would do in that situation. It's, uh, you know, a hard story to watch, but especially one, you know, in times like this where the opioid crisis is so high up in our country, that you know, it's a much needed story. Let's get down to the parents' room. As far as language goes, it's gonna have its harsh language. It's gonna have its profanity. It has the F word, the S word, the B word, the, the G D word. Like you're gonna get some, you know, strong profanity words throughout it. As you can imagine a story about someone addicted to heroin. There's gonna have mature content. You know, you're gonna see Molly, you know, hooked on drugs high at times, going through terrible withdrawals, even, you know, scenes like she's going to a drug house and you see others, you know, passed out on drugs. And they have discussions about what she did for drugs, like sold her body for drugs and things like that. So there is a very hard, you know, very strong, mature content in this. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. I really and and enjoyed the acting in it the story and even at the end the end scene credits they give a picture of the real life you know molly and deb who the story was based off so it, it kind of brought it full circle and made you made it even more impactful if you're excited about seeing this if you have seen it watching this but you know afterwards let me know what you think comments thumbs and all that until next time y'all